three minutes. We got three minutes, so we're gonna be quick. Five points in three minutes. One, climate change is real. It's happening. There's huge impacts, but there's no federal leadership. Therefore, you states, you governors, you mayors need to lead on this issue, right? You must Corporations and institutions are actually more in favor in doing things, you know? We've got to get more of them on the board too. You know, universities, hospitals, churches, and so on. But states need to lead. So that was number one. Number two, thanks to the governors who signed this, you know, we're still in uh, declaration. That was great. And they were quick. So thank you to the governors who are acting on climate change. Sorry, that was a statement. We need to, oh, and I was going to say, and they're more effective because they're acting together, and that's a big deal. Yeah. So that was point number two. Governors, thank you, and you're more effective when you act together. The third thing, though, is we need not just statements, but we need action. Yeah. And there needs to be, um, you know, action that matters. That's not just in one sector or is just government, you know, leading by example. That's fine, but we need economy-wide reductions in our carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. So we have this thing called REGI up here, right? Regional yeah. Greenhouse Gas Initiative. That's great. It's shown that you can actually have benefits and reduce emissions, but it's way too weak, right? The price of carbon under REGI has only gone up 50 cents in about nine years this thing's been working. It's not doing the job. It's about five bucks a, a ton of carbon dioxide. So we need a carbon tax or carbon pricing, right? So here in Rhode Island, of course, we have the Energize Rhode Island Act. It's been introduced three times. It's moving. It's gotten further each time. We had a study bill passed this year by Senator Conley. It says that the state should investigate what it means to have a carbon tax, how it's going to benefit the state. We've done a study already that was done by the best group uh, in the country, REMI, uh, Regional Economic Modeling. It showed thousands of new jobs and uh, you know, economic benefits for the state and big emissions reductions. So energizeri.org, check it out. Please join us, we'd love your help. So, uh, oh, and the other thing about Reggie is it's just electricity sector, right? So if you push down on that, then the, uh, you know, fuel use will come up somewhere else. We need something economy-wise. That was number three. Number four, uh, that was number four, sorry. I wanted to shout out on carbon pricing to uh, Premier uh, Justin Trudeau, right? Prime Minister Trudeau, it's actually, uh, you know, they're going to have a nationwide carbon tax next year. So across all our neighbors, we have a carbon tax. And a pretty good one. So thank you. So governors, go home, work with your legislators, and start solving this problem. Last point. Uh, you know, when you're in a hole, what do you do? You want to get out. Stop digging. So. Thank you, Greg. So stop digging. Stop building new natural gas infrastructure in the United States. Stop building pipelines. Stop building power plants in Burrillville. Stop building liquefaction plants in South Providence. So no LNG in PVD and stop the power plant. There's lots of people going to talk about these things in a minute. So that's it. I'm done, right? Five points.